Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with week four picks. Now, just as a quick recap of week three in the NFL. It's NFL picks, in case that's what you were wondering. I'm not picking other stuff, just random. So anyway, uh, if you were wondering, um, or no, it's week five picks. This is week five. Last week was week four. And in week four, I had a good week. I was 10 and five. So it seems to be an every other week thing with me. The very first week I was eight and eight. Then the second week I was 12 and four. Then the third week I was seven and nine. And then last week I was 10 and five. So anyway, on the year that puts me at 27 and 21. No, I was 27 and 21 coming in. I really, I need my coffee. So um, really I, what that puts me uh, at on the year now is 37 and 26, which is a 587 winning percentage. 58.7% of the picks I get right. So we will keep moving slowly towards 60. We'll hope that we can get another maybe 60 week in this week. And, you know, that moves us a little closer as we keep going. So again, you know the drill. I'll talk about the games that are coming up, who I'm going to pick, and I'll kind of do a little re quick recap of how th those teams did last week. I'll give my lock of the week and my um, upset special. And I will also go through the teams that have been torching me all year and the teams, well, really the one team, no two, two teams, that have been very good for me in picks this year. So with that in mind, let's start with the Thursday night game where my bears are taking on the Buccaneers. <laughs> yeah. So that would be this game right here. And, um, so last week the, the bears came in three and oh, and I said, I'm going to keep picking against the Bears until they lose, until they actually lose. And they did lose last week to the Colts by the score of 19 to 11. I don't know where you get that kind of score in football, but anyway, that's what it was. So this week, in this game, guess who I'm going to pick? I'm going to pick the Buccaneers. Yeah. Not because I'm superstitious and I'm trying to keep some kind of roll going with the Bears. No. It's because I just don't think the Bears are going to beat Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. So, you know, the Bears. We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. So anyway, you know, the, the thing that I think that the Bears should do, and if Matt Nagy is watching this, I hope he takes notes, he should go back to Trubisky as the starting quarterback, start him in every game, and then if the game starts to get a little out of control, bring in Nick Foles. Because that's where Nick Foles is best. He's best off the bench. You want to protect him anyway, so you don't want him playing every single down, every single game, because the guy has an injury history. So just save him off to the side, let Trubisky start the game. See if Trubisky can get something going with his feet and running in the round in the pocket and making the other team not know whether he's going to pass or he's going to run and maybe kind of control the game for a while and keep it close and maybe pull out a win. Or if he starts to fall behind, just say, hey, you're done. Sit down. I'm going to put foals in. And you sit down and you tell both those guys, this is how it's going to be. This is how I'm going to run the show. That's my two cents. Um, what do you Bears fans out there think? Because, you know, everybody was singing Foles' praises. And uh, I just, um, 
I didn't see it. So now the next game we got is the Jaguars at the Texans. And uh, in this one, I am going to go, even though they've been burning me a little bit, I'm going to go with the Jags in this one because, my friends, the Texans, <laughs> they just fired uh, Bill O'Brien. They're, uh, you know, they're genius coach slash GM slash I'm running the world and I'm going to trade away my best wide receiver in the NFL and get a uh, second rate running back in return. Yeah, that's the guy they fired. So they, they got they got issues is what I'm saying. So the next thing, the next one that we potentially have potentially is the Bills at the Titans, and I say potentially because the Titans didn't play last week, if you'll recall, because they had uh, too many of the virus things running around in their, in their locker room and too many people out with the virus. So, um, we don't know if they're going to play, if this game is even going to happen. But assuming it does, go with the Bills. I mean, the Bills have just been really, they've been winning me over lately, and... I'm thinking that the Bills are going to win that one. So now we got the... We got the Bengals at the Ravens. And, um, you know, I love Joe Burrow. I'm a big Joe Burrow fan. But no. We're going to go with the uh, Ravens. Joe Burrow does have the Bengals at 1-2-1. One, and one. Nice record for a terrible team. But... Uh, you know, I don't think he's going to be able to pull it off against the Ravens. I just, I don't see it. So the next one we've got is the Panthers at the Falcons. <laughs> yeah. Falcons are terrible. Let's go with the Panthers in this one. Bridgewater has them playing well. Um, they were actually, they surprised me a couple of weeks, made me wrong a couple of weeks there. So, yeah, I'm going to go with them. Um, now you got the Raiders at the Chiefs. And really, really? No, we're going to go with the uh, Chiefs. And, uh, yeah, let's go with that. Um Patrick Mahomes and the boys are going to beat Carr and his boys because they're not quite this good. And that's just how it is. So, anyway, now we're going to come to the lock of the week. And the lock of the week is the Cardinals at the Jets. You knew the lock of the week had to involve the Jets, right? So we're going to go with the Cardinals, go with the Cardinals to beat the crap out of the Jets. Jets are terrible. They are. They're a mess. Gase should be fired as the head coach. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't even know what else they could do, but they got to figure something out there. Uh, the next one you got is... The Battle of Pennsylvania. Yes, you got the Eagles at the Steelers. And this, my friends, is going to be my upset special. And I'm going to go with the Eagles. Pick the Eagles. The Eagles, I think, have just caught their second wind. And they are going to beat the Steel Curtain. They're going to beat that Steel Curtain down. So now you got... Uh, next one is... The uh, the Rams will be visiting the Washington football team, and I am going to go, unsurprisingly, with the Rams. Yeah. Take the Rams in that one. Washington football team, garbage. <clears throat> so, what do we got now? Oh, now we've got... The Dolphins and the 49ers. And this one, the Dolphins are at the 49ers. And I struggled with this one. This is going to be, I think this will be a close game. But 
I'm going with the Dolphins. Yeah, that's right. I'm picking the Dolphins to beat the 49ers because they looked really bad last week when they should have, the 49ers, that is, looked really bad last week when they should have won. Um, next one you got is the Giants at the Cowboys. Now, the Cowboys don't have any defense, all right? None. They, they got 11 guys that go out there and pretend that they're defensive players, but they don't really have much of a defense. But against the Giants, that's not going to matter. I'm going to say go with the uh, Dallas Cowboys. Even if they have to get in a shootout, these guys cannot get into a shootout with anybody. So, yeah. Giants out. And now we've got the Broncos at the Patriots. Now, even though the Patriots might be missing Cam Newton still, as I suspect they probably are, I'm still going with the Patriots. Yeah, and let's go with the Patriots there because the Broncos are missing too many guys. The Broncos, they had a really hardy game against the Jets last week. But, uh, no. So, that's what I'm saying there. Next one you got is the Colts at the Browns. Now, the Colts, remember now, the Browns last week, they scored 49 points. But they scored 49 points on Dallas, who, as I said, has no D. These guys... They got the number one D in the NFL. So, yeah. I'm going with the Colts. Over here, you got to try to trust Baker Mayfield. And who wants to do that? No. So now, the second to last game, the Sunday night game, I believe, is the... Uh, Vikings and the Seahawks, and uh, yeah, I mean, really, I'm going with the Vikings, or the Seahawks, not the Vikings, but I'm going with the Seahawks here, um, yeah, no, these guys, they may seem like they're getting it done, and they may have won last, <coughs> last week against the Texans, and in fact, they did, but, uh, and now the Monday night game is going to be the Chargers and the Saints. And again, I struggled with this one. You know, I love Herbert. He bust on the scene just like Burrow took charge. He's awesome. But no, I, I don't think he's going to beat the uh, veteran Breeze. I think Breeze is going to teach him a couple of lessons. And uh, they're going to take it to the bank. And no, it's not going to be their week. So, those are my picks, but now let's go over some of the teams that have been torching me this year. The, the only team I've gotten wrong every single week is the Bengals. The Bengals are 0, I'm 0-4 picking the Bengals. Now, we got a bunch of teams at 1-3. We got the Bears, the Giants, the Jags, the 49ers, the Lions, and the Cardinals all at 1-3. Again, not really helping my cause. And the only two teams that I have gotten right every single week in their games are the Patriots, who are, I'm 4-0 with, and the Buccaneers, who I'm 4-0 with. So, that's where we stand with the, uh, the teams torching me and helping me. So, what do you guys think about all that? Uh, you know, I'm... Over 58% now. Moving on up. Slowly. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what your picks are. Where do you differ with me? Where do you think I'm really off my rocker? But Because uh, I really want to hear. I do. But for right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, signing off.